The country has put its most advanced nano-satellite yet into orbit. It's designed to monitor natural developments in man-made disasters, as well as other emergencies as well. It's called the ZA Cube 2. It was put into space in December with the Russian Soyuz Canopus mission that launched from Siberia. It was launched into orbit along with several other smaller satellites from the United States, Japan, Spain and Germany. Here's Angela Coppola with the latest. ZA Cube 2 is understood to be the most advanced on the continent and it will provide remote sensing and communication services to South Africa and the region. It's the second in a series of small satellites launched by South Africa. You need a constellation of satellites that gives you a persistent monitoring of the oceans all the time. And therefore what we have decided to do, because we can't again build expensive big satellites that are just monitoring our oceans, we've decided to have a constellation. So it's a number of satellites moving in a constellation that allows you all the time or within a few hours to make sure that uh, you see what's happening on the ocean and to that effect we have announced the 27 million rand that will be uh, given to CPUT to work with developing small medium enterprises, train students and build uh, uh, three more satellites that will be then uh, in orbiting in the constellation. It's part of a bigger plan by the Science and Technology Department in the Cape Town University of Technology. It's about the blue economy, managing the oceans of the country and the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, we know that the university is positioning itself uh, to be a key player. And as you know, the ability to collect data, the ability to manage data, and therefore they will be training students in that program as we get the data from the satellite, manipulating the data, providing decision support uh, for the uh, ocean information management system, which helps government to know what's happening in the sea and to monitor the resources that are being uh, illegally um, extracted or those that we can uh, exploit for our economic benefit. South Africa has a long history of science and technology development work in the space arena. South Africa wanted to rebuild the space capability which we had uh, in the 60s and over a period of time we've been looking at the infrastructure and the capability that we have and uh, with CPUT uh, and the National Research Foundation we funded a program which is the French South African um, Innovation Technology Program in order to train young uh, graduates in the area of uh, electronics and, 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 and software engineering. The need for real-time live data is vital and developing a new space capacity is critical for the country as it enters the fourth industrial revolution. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.